How is the going guys? Mutemoya back again with another video. So guys, in today's video, I'll show you how I retouch, uh, do dodge and burn, and color grade a melanin skin tone. So, so guys, with no further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, we can see we have this amazing image here and our model looks really nice. So guys, with no further ado, let's retouch this image. The first thing I do, I control J twice, control J twice. And let's name this to texture. And let's rename this to color. Okay, as you can tell, the step we're doing right now is frequent separation. Sorry, guys. As you can see, the step we're doing now is frequent separation, and that's what's always being my first step to start my uh, workflow. So what I need to do, I'll disable the texture layer, and then select the color layer, then go to filter, a uh, blur, Gaussian blur. And because I had retouched this image before, and I knew my value was 10. How I achieved my value is I selected the most the textured part of my image and increase that until I see all the textures disappear. Then say OK. So after that, I'll select on the texture layer and then enable it. Then you can see my image is a 16-bit image. So instead of using subtract, you'll we'll use add a blending mode. So what we what we'll do, you can see select on the color layer. Uh, channel is RGB. Uh, select blending mode of add as I had mentioned before. Capacity of 100. Preserve transparent not selected. Mask not selected. Scale to and offset of zero. Then say invert is selected. Then say OK. Uh, change the blending mode to linear light. Okay, let's create a black and white on top here so that we can see the shadows and the highlights perfectly for easy blending. Okay, let me zoom my image inside at 25 is okay. And then I'll select, you can see there's this tool, edit toolbar, you select your mixer brush there because before it used to be somewhere here, but nowadays it's around here. Uh, make sure it's a smooth brush not hard not so hard okay um, clean brush uh, make sure it cleans after every stroke wetness 10 load 75 mix 90 and flow at 100 and then now let's blend right here Don't overdo it. Do it as easy, as quick as possible. Because we don't need to spend so much time on the uh, blending or on frequency separation. You can see I'm trying to increase and reduce the size of the brush with the brackets. So with the brackets, button, buttons on my keyboard. <coughs> I don't want to remove all this texture around here because I think it makes the image look more natural and a model has that texture there, but if I feel it's more distracting, I'll reduce it later. I have an action for the same. So, yep. Yeah, I like how my image is coming along. I didn't remove this love marks here because I feel they look nice. I just because they give the authenticity of the model's smile. So, I feel they look nice on this image so I didn't want to remove them I'm actually almost done with the frequency separation uh, it's just perfect yes this is really coming out really nice <coughs> so increase and reduce the size of the brush depending on the on the area you are brushing And so guys, as I had mentioned before, sorry guys, I selected the select as I was talking. So guys, as this loads, uh, if you watch this full video and you select the link at the end of the video, you'll get my melanin skin tone LUT for free. So guys, don't forget to watch the whole video. Don't try to push it 
to get where the link is the link is at the end of the video and not exactly at the end of the video so guys just watch the whole video and you will get the melanin skin tone lat and i'll use the same on this image and yeah show you how i apply the same on my images so guys i'm actually done with frequent separation and you can see how it let me put the texture and the color on one group and show you how my image looks so before and after before and after after that i'll zoom in my image so that i can remove these small small blemishes so yep select on the texture layer then select on the clone stamp tool make sure it's a uh, not a hard brush and opacity uh 100 flow 100 and current current layer select current layer and then now let's sample on a cleaner area and paste on a, a dark area i just forward forward this and see you after that. So guys, I'm done with uh, the blemish move for. So guys, the next thing I need to do, I need to color grade this image. So I'll delete the uh, black and white on top there. And the next thing I need to do, let me remove this blemish. I think there's this blemish I did remove. It doesn't look so well. Yeah, now that looks nice. After that, the next thing I need to do, I need to color grade uh, this image. So as I had promised, this is the lot I'm giving you guys. So I come here to select the color lookup. And then select my load, my lat, load my lat for the same, and then load lat seven. That's my melanin skin tone lat, and you can see how much magic it does to the image. You can see how it transforms my image, and I feel my image has so much magendas. Or oh, what I need to do, I go go to color balance, and then let's reduce the magendas. You can see the opposite of magenta is green, so I'll just uh, press two there and. Make sure I think it looks nice at that point. Two, three, two, three. Yeah, that looks nice. And after that, I come here to black and white. Select black and white. And uh, let's change this to uh, multiply. And let's reduce the opacity to something like, uh, let's say that it. That looks nice. Let's reduce the opacity of my light slightly. Yes, that looks nice. And then after that, go to selective color. And then select color black. And then uh, what you need to do, push the, the yellows to negative 5. And push the blacks to negative 6 there. And let's try to reduce the opacity of the, of the selective color. Yes. So guys, let me show you the before and after. Let's put all this in one group and let's call this color grading. Grading. <coughs> Before and after. Before and after. And after. And guys, the next, last thing I'm going to do on this image, I need to whiten the eyes and teeth. So select eye and teeth whitening. And then I'll just zoom in my image slightly and then pick my brush tool. Make sure it's a very soft brush and just paint. Make sure foreground car is white and then paint on your model's eyes like this. opacity of the eye and teeth whitening put everything in a group and see the before and after before and after and guys let me show you the before this is the before and this after i'm done with uh frequent separation color grading and retouching in as less minutes as possible so guys 
If you like this video, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Mutemwa and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I plan this and more content like this. So if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. As I promised, click link this link here and download my free melanin LAT. See you in the next video. Peace out.